Well, this morning we are going to show you how to make the perfect fall snack. Registered dietitian Nikki Stair joins us from the Iowa Academy of Nutrition and Dietet Dietetics. Nikki, <laughs> you're going to show us how to create a delicious and festive and healthy homemade granola. Yes, right? absolutely. So it's fall time, right? Everybody yep. loves, seems to love the pumpkin spice, but I tell you what, we're going to use pumpkin in a different way today. So as we're carving up our um, pumpkins for this season, um, what we do is usually have some family traditions of roasting the pumpkin seeds. But did we know that inside the white pumpkin seeds is another seed that's called pepitas? Oh. And so what we're going to do, so one quarter cup of pepitas is nine grams of protein. It also has heart healthy fats um, and a whole lot of fiber. So we're going to make it up in a to a granola and making homemade granola is super simple and it's super easy because you can add your own ingredients, spice it up the way you want um, and really keep the calories and the sugar, you know, to a minimum, you know, you if like you want. That? Yep. <laughs> so what we're going to do um, is we're going to make up, this is just half the recipe that's on eatrightiowa.org. Um, and this is a pepita and cranberry granola. Perfect for the fall. So we have five cups of rolled oats. These are whole rolled oats. They have the best heart healthy whole grains. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to add in about a quarter cup of brown sugar. So if you want to help me add the ingredients and I will just mix. Just in the bowl? Yep. Okay. So we use dark brown sugar okay. to add a little bit of that um, sweetness. Now you can certainly use kind of a Splenda brown sugar mix if you want. Okay. And so these are the pepitas that I'm going to add in. And this is about um, one cup of pepitas. I like to add a little bit more because I like to add a little bit more protein when yeah, it comes absolutely. to granola. And then we got sliced almonds. Okay. So again, we're adding some heart healthy um, nuts and seeds to it. Mm -hmm. Some chopped walnuts. And I used a natural or raw nuts because we don't need to add any more salt to this. Um, and then we're going to use um, unsweetened flaked coconut. Coconut is rich in fiber and it adds a wonderful flavor when it's toasted. So we're going to kind of mix this up a little bit. Now for our wet ingredients. Um, I used pure uh, maple syrup, um, about half a bottle if you just want to pour some in for me. Okay, you tell me when to stop. Okay. <laughs> now you can certainly use honey or agave nectar if okay. you'd like. Um, that looks about good. Okay, um, mm, it smells good. Yes, and you can minimize that as well if you'd like. Mm -hmm. And then about a half a cup of water. Mm -hmm. And then I chose to use avocado oil. So I'm gonna have you just go ahead and pour in about a quarter cup, and I'll tell you about when. That's good, that's gonna give it a nice toasty. As we mix this up, we're gonna layer onto a foil lined pan. We're gonna bake this for about 80 minutes. It's 40 minutes toss and then 40 minutes. But I tell you what, this makes enough for um, adding into your favorite cereal in the morning, add it to yogurt, um, frozen fruit or sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are another great fall yeah. favorite. But if you have some left over, I'm sure your neighbors would love a gift of hey, homemade granola. Absolutely. Yeah. And I love the sound of it. It smells so good. I, guess I wish you guys were here right now. But thank you so much for mm -hmm. joining us. And thank you guys for watching. Your